Oh, it's so happy to be here. So kind of me to be invited. I went to Radfest uh, maybe eight, seven, eight years ago. And what I really like about Radfest, it's a mixture of communities. It's not just scientists uh, talking gobbledygook. It's not just uh, industrialists uh, sort of trying to make money. And it's, it's it's the general public as well. So everyone's forced to actually explain their science in simple manner. In the simple words, no, just a little bit about me. I'm I'm a really an AI guy. You know, uh, I'm really my uh, first AI system uh, was uh, four no forty years ago, not four years ago, forty years ago, nineteen eighty three, and um, uh, I was an entrepreneur. Sold my companies to Motorola, BlackBerry, Apple. Uh, but the, really, the last ten years, I've been at Stanford and uh, looking at the intersection of mathematics and medicine. So the body is extremely complex. Uh, biology is complex, medicine is complex. And the, the project I'm going to talk about um, at Radfest is an idea. And the big idea here is a vaccine for aging. So what does that mean? What does a vaccine for aging mean? Does that mean you just stop aging going forward? Or does it mean you reverse aging like, like, like uh, uh, Greg was talking to us about? Is it something you take once a year, like your flu vaccine? Or is it something you take just once, you know, like a smallpox vaccine at the beginning when you're uh, when you're born? And um, you know, what? And then how would you actually build it? So I'm a big believer you, you, that you have to set the moonshot goal. Otherwise, people won't actually go for it. Now, we could say we just want to extend life, you know. But I think we want to go a little bit, double click a little bit. And how would you do it? And we really got really got a couple, two, three theories. One is do it step by step. So you probably have to do uh, clusters of diseases. And really what we want to try and find is the uh, is the treatments that can solve as many diseases as possible with the fewest side effects. So I will stop there. I really am looking forward to seeing everybody, as I said, because of the mixture of people is very different to an academic uh, conference or a trade show conference. It's a mixture of people where we can really uh, interact with each other. And there, I think you can get uh, uh, ideas that wouldn't have come out in those pure uh, discipline domains.